All right, great to be here again at Eco Summit. I'm here to talk about Restore, uh, a little bit about our progress over the past year uh, since last we were here, and also a bit about the future. So we like to start by talking about the challenge that we face in the energy market and the opportunity that that presents. An opportunity not just for Restore, but everyone here in the room today. And so this is the known story. We uh, moved from an old energy world where you had dirty power plants centrally located producing power to a new system where renewable energy is both distributed and intermittent. Okay. That's a wonderful thing. We see more and more solar and wind, but that creates also some problems. On the one hand, it creates challenges for power plants and for that we're not too unhappy. Many of them are disappearing out of the market because of market economics, because of regulation. But it also creates a challenge to the power grid, and that is a uh, problem that is real and that is growing. So if you look at the new energy world, it looks very nice. You have things like batteries, solar, wind, and you have industries where you can uh, imagine them running completely on renewable energy, cars driving on solar, etc. Very nice, but we have to take care of the power grid and the health of the power grid. And the challenges for the power grid are on the one hand that you have distributed power production, but on the other hand, the intermittency of renewable energy, where you have misforecasts that create grid imbalances, and those need to be addressed. So how do you build a business on that? Our business is essentially one big arbitrage. So what is an arbitrage in the financial markets? An arbitrage occurs when something is mispriced, for whatever reason that may be, and you can capture that inefficiency in the market, so you can make money on that without taking too much risk. That's what an arbitrage is. So what is the arbitrage here? It is an arbitrage where you can use clean, flexible power to replace what dirty and expensive power plants were, using, were doing before. And so the grids are historically supported by gas-fired plants and uh, production plants like that. These are the wrong assets to create flexible power to the grid. They're too expensive and they are polluting. They're they have a huge carbon footprint. And so the clue is that there are a lot of idle resources which were not used before, which can create that same flexible power. But if you connect to them and pull them into virtual power plants, you can do exactly the same thing as a gas-fired plant can do. And that is how you can capture that arbitrage. Because these idle resources have a cost structure that is structurally lower than production plans. So that is how the business model works. Now, what is the enabling technology to do that? Essentially two categories. One is Industry 4.0. And what do you think about when you see Industry 4.0? You think about smart factories that are becoming more productive, more efficient because of intelligent software. Right? The clue there is data. That is the new precious resource data. We can capture more and more sensor data from factories than before. And on the clouds, we can implement software which can create value-added services around that data. That is what Industry 4.0 is. The second category is the Internet of Things, or the Internet of Energy, as it has been called uh, before here. We're also in the household with very small devices and household appliances. You can have connectivity which is scalable, which is low cost, and which enables you to capture that data from these sources, um, have control over some of these sources, and start to develop value-added services on the cloud. So this was fairly generic stuff. What about the concrete products that we're putting into the market? I'm going to talk about one product that we have just launched in the first quarter of this year. We did our first sale just recently. It is called Flextrail. Flextrail is an AI-driven solution for energy management. And it does two things. On the one hand, it looks at an industrial process, at a set of machines, 
and it logs a lot of sensor data so that it understands where flexible power is residing. So it understands what are the boundary conditions of an industrial process. It understands what are the economics. So if you curtail a certain machine, what does it cost you in terms of opportunity costs? And then it knows what the flexible power is that you can use from this process. On the other hand, it looks at the energy market, and through uh, a set of prediction engines, it's going to look at a various uh, set of market data, day ahead prices, intraday prices, uh, grid tariff opportunities, opportunities etc. And it's going to manage the flexible power in a holistic way, in a fully automated and holistic way. So it's going to use that flexible power to trade on the day ahead market, intraday market. It's going to use certain opportunities to do, for instance, triad management in the UK, grid tariff opportunities and it's going to provide grid services as well. So this is Flextreo, an AI-enabled software solution that we offer as software as a service to CNI power consumers. What is our track record then, concretely? We have um, enlisted um, about 150 factories across Europe for demand response services over the past few years. This is an A-list of the top power consumers in Europe. And so you see a, a sample of uh, client references here. And since last year, we've made a few partnerships with B2C players, essentially appliance manufacturers, where through embedded connectivity with these devices, we aggregate the flexible power of these devices and create additional revenue on these devices, which enables these partners to offer uh, these devices at a lower price and to offer also value-added services around them. Good. So in the industrial segment, as mentioned, top 100 power consumers, more than 150 factories. In total, we have about 1,700, 1,700 megawatts under management today. Um, we are present in virtually every sector of the industrial uh, segment. Um, we have um, uh, concluded a few partnerships on the B2C side, and we will be in about 50,000 homes in the coming two years through these partnerships. Um, our platform is a 24-7, 365 running platform. Uh, we pride ourselves on the extremely high reliability of this, especially in the primary reserves, frequency control services, tertiary reserves, so very fast reserves where there's a lot of value. And if you want to look at our concrete um, milestones thus far in terms of financials, what you see is that we've been growing, obviously, our megawatt portfolio very quickly. Uh, in terms of revenues, we crossed 10 million revenue last year and expanding very nicely there. We're EBITDA positive this year, um, and we've grown to a team of about 50 people. And we have uh, gotten quite a bit of recognition recently with a lot of awards in the past year and a half or so. So that's it. If you're uh, interested to talk, you can speak to me uh, over lunch. would be happy to talk to uh, any one of you or contact us at one of our locations, which you see beamed here. Thank you very much.